What's up, everybody? So I was just moved to make a video. Okay, we got this King of Spring and the Seven of Summer, which is the Seven of Cups. It says, no more procrastinating. Your power comes from making a decision. Confusion that arises from overanalyzing the options. A financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed now. An unexpected supporter of your cause. I just started hearing um, Noah. What do you want? Not what does your family want? Not what does your mother want? What do you want? Listen, the energy is a little bit wacky, right? I don't know. Today was crazy for me. But I, I got my stuff done. Look, this, this is where the focus needs to be on financial independence, okay? I feel like most of you watching this are, are, are working towards this, are feeling abundant in your own life. This says reward yourself for all the hard, your hard work. Being happily and successfully self-employed, cherishing your time alone. Exactly. Now, and see, eight, eight of autumn. Do more research before proceeding. Education in the form of seminars, going back to school, or apprenticeships. Excellent craftsmanship and long-term projects. So what are you guys up to? Learning something new? <clears throat> but listen. I'm just going to do this divine masculine, divine feminine. I'm, I'm being moved to. I was going to try not to, but they're, they're telling me to do it. Okay, so um, but I'm, I'm supposed to remind you that your mission is your primary purpose. Okay, focusing on your independence and your in finding abundance within your own life and what you're doing, that is your primary purpose. Okay, um, yeah, they're saying um, sidetracked. They're, they're saying the word sidetracked. I don't know why and for. Okay, divine feminine, divine masculine, connection in between. Give me one card for the divine feminine, please. The emperor. Yeah. Bossing up. Use logic and structure to increase your success. Get organized. A firm but compassionate leader. That is the divine um, feminine. Look, having the world in, in your hand, okay? Moving towards what you truly want. Your firm, like a firm foundation, uh, stability, financial freedom, I'm hearing. I mean, look, this person cannot be swayed. They're saying, make up your mind, make up your mind and don't let it be swayed by any tarot card reader that you, you watch by any friend that may say something to you by any triggering words that you hear from anyone. Know your truth. Okay. Look at this emperor. This emperor cannot be swayed. Yeah, eight of winter. Okay, but some of you are stuck. You have what it takes. It's if only you believe in yourself, thinking that you're powerless when you're not, a lack of self confidence that keeps you from getting what you want. Why would the emperor be doubting himself? I'm telling you right now stop letting people whisper in your ear. Remember who you are. And tell everybody to back the fuck up. <laughs> and that's what I say. All right. Give me... Um, yeah. Um, you know, Lu Luna Nate, she says, um, I am spirit and ma matter. Like, come on, you know, like, you can't touch this. Remember who you are. All right, give me one card for the Divine Masculine. Three of Spring. What are you waiting for, Divine Masculine? 
Plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. So the Divine Masculine, I feel like you're getting some sort of idea. And remember, because we're talking about the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, the, these the, your energies are connected. So you can both be a little bit of both of these things, okay? Because we all have a Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine within us as well, so... Plan your next steps with an eye to the long term. Have patience. There are more good things to come. Satisfaction from a job well done. So I feel like um, the divine masculine is getting rewarded for something here. Yeah, here's something. They're, they got, they're up to something. They're planning something here. This is like the ships coming in. So... Um, okay, they're saying there's distractions around them, but it's like they have to keep, it's like keep your eye on the prize, Divine Masculine. That's why it says plan your next steps with an eye to the long term and have patience. There are more good things to come. So you may have had a glimpse or seen a glimpse or you have an idea of, um, I don't know. I just feel like there, like, like something is starting to. You're starting to see um, a manifestation coming together, but it's almost like you can't really truly act on it yet. So that's why they're saying plan for the long term and have patience for what's going on around you. It says stress that comes from having. Many things happen at once. Successful, multitasking, sudden events, or changes. Yeah, see? So the Divine Masculines over here really fueled by passion here, okay? And the Divine Feminine is really... Bossing up. I didn't ask for anything, but I was talking about the divine feminine. So, see, ten of winter. So, what what's going on? Why is somebody? It says, let go of people and things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career. Unmarried or divorced individuals. And the high priestess, trusting your intuition, careful reflection before taking action, insights that come through meditation. Okay. So again, this is really giving me this strong vibe for what I was saying at the beginning. And, and really, it was a message to the Divine Feminine, but I feel like it's for both here. Okay. It's, it's um, stand for something or else you fall for everything, you know, Um it says, let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career. So you both have people in your, in your surroundings, in your energy that you both know don't belong in your energy anymore. It says, now is the time to focus on your career. And I really feel that because whatever you guys are doing, that is your purpose, okay? Your purpose for being here. And it's also going to ensure the long-term stability yeah, and success. That's what they said. But you're both trusting your intuition here. That's what they want you to trust is your intuition because you both have come a long way. Okay. This is very interesting. Okay. I'm just.
Use logic and structure to increase your success, Divine Feminine. So you've definitely been seeing success already within your, um, yeah, look. Look, look what I just split the deck as I'm saying that. And look what it is. The Sun and the Ace of Pentacles, all right? That's success, okay? Recognition. You're starting to be recognized. You've been recognized or you're about to be recognized. But I feel you're both having gifts come in because... You both are working on yourselves. Okay, but this Queen of Winter, which is the Queen of Swords, says strong, patient, self-sufficient, funny. That's both of you. But you both have toxic energy around you. This is why this says let go of people or things that no longer serve you. Now is the time to focus on your career, unmarried or divorced individuals. Let go of people or things that no longer serve you. See, and I feel like it started, okay? The, the Divine Feminine has definitely been letting things go, all right? That's why you've even made it to this Emperor status, okay? And this is what, because the Divine Masculine has started to let go of um, people and situations um, like, cause he's starting to see because the divine masculine, some of them have, I mean, they've been awake for a while here, like at least for the last few months, but, um, but they're really starting to see, to recognize and take action towards the release. And that's why they're being rewarded. That's why you're being rewarded, Divine Masculine. All right. Clarify this Emperor card. But overall energy is the High Priestess. Yeah, see, you both are like... Yeah, look look at this. This is the Devil card. It's like the Ego. The illusion of being trapped, placing too much importance on material items, getting caught up in fear and worry. Princess of Autumn. Happy news about your career, promotions, or scholarships, well-thought-out plans that go perfectly, needing a little push to get going. So some of you are procrastinating here. See, the wheel, the wheel has turned here. Somebody's yeah being released, which which releases um, the burden. That's what's being let go of, okay? Because that's what the divine wants you guys to do. Like get into this queen of winter. It's like don't let people into your lives that don't deserve to be there, okay? The queen of swords is that energy. I, I love her. She's my, you know, better not bitter queen. All right. But it's like enough of the fucking around. <laughs> it's like, you'll let people listen. You'll listen to people, you know, when they come, but you're going to be able to call them like, know their bullshit. And when you know that they're bullshit, don't doubt it and cut them out. Cut them out. All right, give me one card for this emperor. Yeah, see? Look at, Divine Feminine is all about the money, okay? They, I heard the bag. I don't talk like that, so. <laughs> okay, there is there is um, courage needed, strength. There's something about, um, I don't know. I feel like the Divine Feminine is holding back something. Because look at this lion. That lion like wants to fight, right? I feel like, yeah, it's rage. That's what I heard. The Divine Feminine. What, what pissed you off, Divine Feminine? They want you to channel that energy into creativity, okay? This. Yeah, look at how mad that lion is.
definitely being helped. All right, give me one card for this Divine Masculine, Three of Spring. Yeah, look. I feel like I'm hearing uh, making money moves. The Divine Masculine is doing things undercover, like... This is why they're saying that he, he has to have patience. I don't know what he's up to, but he's doing something. It's a little bit, he's doing it a little bit sneaky, but he has to because of the people that are around him. All right. He's finally like waking up to these people around him. <sighs> Let me see. Clarify this high priestess. That's the high priestess twice. Okay. That's the deep knowing. Okay. Clarify what what yeah see the star they know what their wish is the, the divine masculine is working on themselves and healing like see defending himself he's standing up to people there's some big shifts going on in this divine masculine's life okay They're all for the better and for, and for his healing and growth, but I don't, I'm not exactly sure that, um, it feels all that great, especially because they say have patience on this card. Okay. And like, anytime I know like that I'm required to have patience, like that is the most annoying thing that you could tell me. Okay. So I feel like there is this frustration, all right, because he wants to go somewhere and he can't yet. He's waiting on something. Some sort of gifts are coming in. I heard some of them are waiting on money, 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 money. Like they're getting like a big sum of money. All right, clarify this Queen of Winter for the connection. Six of Cups, Two of Cups. You guys are going to, it's like, listen, I've been telling y'all closer and closer that this, you get to union. It's going to get hairier and hairier. Your test, your temptations, like everything, it's, it's going to, it's going to just go deeper. Your belief system is going to be challenged, right? This is why I was guided to suggest to do, suggest to you, okay, why the high priestess has come out twice for you guys to trust what you know, okay? To listen to your own heart, okay? Do what feels right for you over what I say, what over what anybody else says, okay? Because you know better than anyone else what's What's going to work for you? I do feel like um, there may be uh, a separation here for a little. There's like something, there's a, okay, they're saying something about coming back together in August, okay? And the other day I got 8-8, um, eight, eight, okay? So it's like you're walking away, but it's like, it's going to, it's, it's temporary. All right. Is there anything else that you want to tell us? Let's see, this, this is what's, um, what's at the bottom? Yeah. See, look at this double card. I'm getting this as um, passion. I'm also getting, see how there's this fly on the wall? It's like somebody is, there is somebody watching both of you, okay? I don't know why. 
It's kind of freaky. There's probably several people, but let's see. What is this? What is this devil? Clarify the devil. Yeah, this is what's ending. Okay. And there's like, here's this four wands, which is the twin flame card. All right. But in this deck, like nobody's there. Okay. So, um, this could be, our like wrapping up a toxic connection. Here's, um, like a home connection ending a cycle. Clarify the four wands. Yeah, see, there is like conflict in the home. It's like this big burden. Somebody's cutting it out. You guys, it's coming It's coming in like in the middle. So I feel like there's divine masculine, divine feminine, both. Um, not everybody is, but there's, there's those of you where you're both in um, – oh, my God, my brain – the – like partnering with other people. You're living in some sort of toxic home environment, all right, where there's just a lot of drama and, and you know, tick for tack and, you know, all that bullshit, right? And this is what, this is what's being released, okay? This could be what this divine masculine's waiting for money to leave, That kind of changed everything, right? All right, let's see. I'm going to get, how long is this? I'm going to do this quick. Listen, I don't talk about my, my connection with anybody, okay? So... I'm just saying, keep your mouth shut. <laughs> that's what I'm, that's what I'm getting. It's like, like not everybody understands these connections. You don't understand the twin flame connection unless you're a twin flame. I mean, they, they, you just, you just can't. Okay, so that's coming up for some reason here. Okay, so be careful who you talk to. Be careful what shows you, you know, shows you're watching or not shows, readings. You know, just trust your own intuition and what you know and what you feel over anything, anything, anyone. All right, give me one card for the divine feminine, please. And yeah, separation. Time apart from your partners on the horizon. All right, but don't don't freak out. Okay, know that you deserve love. Okay, you know this. You are lovable. Don't take it personal. Whatever happens, some of you may have recently seen or had contact with your divine masculine, and um, could have been like. Same, you know, I don't know, same old bullshit. That's what I heard first. So the divine masculine is very guarded and he's still like, I mean, you see how this guy's in armor here and he's holding his heart. I don't, I don't know what the divine masculine is going through, but I just feel like the divine masculine is hurting a lot more than he expresses. than you even realize divine feminine. All right. What is, um, Give me one card for the Divine Masculine. All right, he's getting two here. New love and attraction. So, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Yeah, so the Divine Masculine is like learning about patience. See, like I said, um... And this new love, I feel like he's learning to take care of himself, which is why he's able to kick some people to the curb. And, okay, this is also allowing him to heal. All right, but there's also this new love for the divine feminine, which came out, um, yeah, so he's very drawn, drawn to her. All right, give me one card for... 
the connection. Love yourself first, okay? It can't be sneaky, all right? You you both know that, all right? It, whatever went down, this this is probably why the Divine Masculine didn't respond to you the way, it, because he doesn't want... Uh, he knows. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. He doesn't want to sneak out the window any more than you want him to anymore. Okay? <laughs> oh my god. All right, let me let me just get a couple messages from your person, all right? And then I will close it up. Remain in your power. Remain in your own truth. Know what you stand for. Meditate. Ground yourself. Please take bubble baths and be good to yourself. I'm going to go get a massage this weekend. A 90-minute massage. I deserve it. I've been I've been working out. I'm in my second week of fighter diet. I'm not gonna flex. I was gonna flex, but not yet. <laughs> it's just like a little baby bump. All right. Anyway, I'm hoping like that muscle memory happens quick. You know, because I used to have some muscles. <laughs> All right. Anyway, here's messages from your person. This is some messy shit. Exactly. That's why he's doing shit on the down low. I remember you. See? He knows. He knows. This is why. I just heard he's going to make it up to you. Okay? This is why. If you spoke to him or whatever, it just like. And it went into separation. Like Again, like. Don't sweat it. So some of them are going through a divorce or a separation. Look, you're the last person on my mind before I fall asleep. It could be healing from, yeah, this divorce. I feel like whoever they're attached to um, is just like really not... See, yeah, that's what we got over here. This like craziness in the home. Okay. It's like this, it's like this, you know, like nobody's there. There's no partying going on there for that celebration. All right. What else? You are one of a kind. What else? What else? I should have been more honest with you. So there's still some stuff that you don't know, but you'll find out. You don't need to know right now. That's what they just said. They said, you don't need to know right now. Mind your business. <laughs> Stay in your lane. <laughs> the divine masculine's over here handling his business. A childhood trauma. Huh. This is coming with divorce. So maybe this whole, um, maybe his divorce like triggered up like some sort of abandonment issue or this separation from whomever's like triggering, it's triggering his, yeah, because he is going through massive healing right now, okay? As I tell you, I feel like there's chaos around him. Look, our separation still affects me. If it's meant to be, it will be. Can you read that? I'm not going to say it out loud because my daughter's here. <laughs> All right. All right. 
Yeah, see? I'm working on myself. Told ya. You are my destiny. I communicate with you through music. Yeah, see? This, this this always comes out with this song because like and I feel like it's because this song means something. Please save a spot for me in your heart. Don't get mad, okay? Maybe that's what that freaking remember we saw the lion and it looked like ferocious. Maybe some of you are just like so annoyed and frustrated and just want to like lash out. Just don't, okay? You, I mean, I just feel like it would be a huge setback. Your divine masculine is going through some major life changes right now. All right. He's, he's ending a, a, a big cycle of, and I feel like it, it happened like really quick, you know, like it's just like, it's, it's just like a big mess or something. I, I don't know, but it's, it's not, he's closing out a big cycle in his life here. Awesome, Divine Masculine. All right. So patience. There's that word again, I know. It can make me want to spit. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. This is so long. I'm sorry. All right. Give me one more card. One more card for everybody. Receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. So I just heard, let the divine masculine come to you. Love is all around you. There is love everywhere all the time. Simply acknowledge this is truth. And so it's like, you guys are going to like love each other. Okay. Like you're teaching each other how to love, like with, with the divine feminine having to uh, hold back her anger and aggression towards having to have this patience. Cause I feel like that's what that line was about now, you know, um, just the frustration of like, it's like, Oh, like when is this going to change? All right. The divine it's so what you're learning is yeah. Love and tolerance, but it's, it's leading you towards unconditional love, like loving your masculine where he's at understanding what he's going through. Okay. Because I know if I'm like angry like that, like that, like wanting to like lash out like that line was, it's like, sometimes I could do something that's like, I'm not thinking all the way through. And so that's, that's, that's what the message is. Okay. For the divine feminines, it's, it's, that's why they want you to tap into your truth. Listen to your own intuition. Okay. Somebody needs to cut back on the freaking readings. Okay. Like I feel like people have too many people talking in their ear and the divine, like you're teaching the divine masculine how to love. All right. He, he, I feel like the divine masculine wants to, wants to, wants to speak, but it's just not time yet. Because he wants to come to you. Yeah. That's why this says, please save a spot for me in your heart. All right, guys. Uh, they just drew my attention to this. I gotta show it. I gotta show it. Okay. And look, you guys are protected. Okay. So this is about the children. Somebody's worried about their kids, but this father healing. I feel like there's some sort of grief, but I also feel like um, some of them may have recently lost a parent or something, and um. So they're healing that and they're also dealing with the fact that they're going to be separated from their kids. Like that's also like a, like a trigger. So they're, they're, they're healing from that. They're forgiving themselves for that. They're just moving through all. That's why this says this is some messy shit. Okay. Because I feel like somebody uses the, the, is using children as a pawn. Okay. But just know that the kids are going to be okay. All right. And as twin flames, you're always protected. It doesn't mean that Things aren't going to be tricky because you guys, as twin flames, you signed up for, like, you are the frontliners, okay? So, of this spiritual warfare here, okay? So, remember, you signed up for that. So, if you willingly signed up for that, that means 
that you truly are a badass. So you can get through this, okay? Remember who you are. New love. Back to what you love. Exactly. What do they keep saying? Mind your business. Stay in your lane. All right? Embrace the new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. Okay, it doesn't say relationship. It says work opportunities or spiritual growth. <laughs> oh my God, I'm just being a smart ass. I love you guys. <laughs> Have an amazing night. Bye.